So the League Earn Player of the Month nominees are out. We've got Paqueta, Fofana and Guri, I think it's pronounced. Let's get some investments in, boys. A lot of them are non-risk, so you can invest in a lot of these without any worry at all. If you guys are wanting to build a better team like this... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Then look no further than u7buy.com. They sell cheap and reliable foot 22 coins and they also sell foot accounts this year. So if you're interested, click the link in the top line of the description and use code MUZZ for 5% off at checkout. Yes lads and welcome back to a brand new trading video. Today we are going to be looking at some investments for the League Earn Player of the Month. We currently don't have the League Earn Player of the Month. We don't have the Bundesliga Player of the Month as well. So it should be out within the next week or two. So it's best to get your investments in as quick as possible. So let's jump straight on into it boys. If you guys could drop a like that would be appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and let's jump into it. So these are the three nominees. We've got Lewis Paqueta, Fofana and Guri. So let me know who you guys are going to vote for. I have voted for Fofana. I think the most likely ones to get the play of the month will be Fafana or Paqueta. I can't see Guri winning it. So we're going to be looking at investments for all three cards just in case. So before we do anything, boys, I'm going to quickly show you the prices of some of last year's league earn play of the months. I want to get a rough estimate of how much these players are going to be. Paqueta, Fafana and Guri. So let's jump over to last year's play of the month prices. Uh, so we had Balaya, who was only 25k. He was actually an all right one, but he, that was quite late in the game, I believe. Uh, we had Nian. I think this guy... I was quite early into the game is there a date of time so there is a date so this was October 22nd last year which is almost the exact same date and this was like a three star three star it wasn't the best of cards but I guess you could compare him a little bit to this Gurry kind of so maybe Gurry if he wins I think it'll be around 40 to 50k so we've got a rough, rough estimate of his price with Fofana and Paqueta uh, if we have a look on the list as well uh, you've got Bamba at 500k, you got Delort at 100k, and was Delort released? Delort was released on the in December 24th, so I've got a feeling they're going to be around 100k, anywhere from 80 to 80k to 120k, I think, uh, compared to the Benzema SBC as well, the 91 La Liga Benzema, if we have a look at this FIFA, he's about 150k, uh, Koulibaly as well, if we have a look at Koulibaly's price, so Benzema's 150 there, um, and if we have a look at Kula Bali, he's about 180, so it's very expensive. Um, I think maximum uh, for these two cards, maybe you get one, 130, 140, but I'm going to say around 100k, I think. So I think the squads we're going to be looking at is an 83 rated squad, because this is an 83. 83 rated squad, potentially with an inform, uh, and then an 84 rated squad and an 85 rated squad. So I wouldn't be surprised if one of those two win it, it will be an 83, an 84 and an 85 rated squad. So that gives us a good idea of what players to invest in, what sort of rating you're going to need. And especially if it's a good priced SBC, that's when we will see SBC fodder start to rise. But boys, before we do jump in to the SBC fodder investment, I want to show you a really good way of making coins. This is more of a risky method, but you can make a lot of coins. I'm going to show you a lot of patterns from previous Team of the Weeks, whether it's this FIFA or last FIFA, of cards going up in price. So let me show you guys, and this is up to you guys whether you invest or not. So, one of the most popular players right now on FIFA is Tusha Many, and he's been rising quite a lot over the last few days. Uh, so he's currently 90,000 on PlayStation 18,000 on Xbox. I know you guys are going to probably think this is way too much for an 82 French centre mid from Monaco. You're like, what the hell? I'm going to give you an example as to why this could actually be a really good investment. For one, Tushimeni is a link investment. So we're going to have a look at some link investments. So Tushimeni could link to either Fafana, Paqueta, and obviously a strong link to Guri, which is very nice. Uh, so when one of these play the months do drop i can see a lot of people wanting to a many in their team so that for one reason can 100 percent make his price go up in price um, if i give you an example boys we're going to go to des uh, inform from last week so des inform he's currently 30,000 on playstation 26,000 and 27,000 on pc uh, so we have a look at his price last week uh not even many days ago so he was like 17 18 000 coins for a good week or so so imagine this is to many um, so Tushimeni is currently about 17 or 18,000 and then he went out of packs so today Tushimeni is going to go out of packs uh, so that, that's a big reason Des did go up in price so when uh, Tushimeni is out of packs that, that'll be huge and also you guys know if we go over to the SBC section another reason why Des did go up is because Umtiti did get released and he's obviously a strong link to um titty so link investments work really well for for players going up in price and also which makes it even better boys because it doesn't always work with link investments but what makes it even better so if we go over to league earn 
we go over to midfielders or CDM centre mid cam, um, if you have a look at CDMs slash centre mids in this league, there's not actually that many good ones. So if we go by price, just just to see like the most popular and the most pricey ones are, other than Genie Wine Alden, because uh, Wine Alden's like I think he's like five thousand coins. There's not loads of options really. So Tusha Many, I can see being linked a lot to one of these player of the months. Another link investment boys would be would be Jonathan David. So Jonathan David. Right now, where is Jonathan David at? So Jonathan David is right now 27,000 on PlayStation, 27,000 on Xbox. He's been pretty stagnant. He's got up a couple K here and there. Uh, but there's not many league earned strikers at all. And obviously, he's a link to all three of these players again. So another link investment. If we go over to league earned strikers again. Right, so league earned strikers will figure by price again. So Mbappe, not many people have coins for Mbappe. So you're not going to go straight for Mbappe if this player of the month goes out. A few people will, but Mbappe won't go up in price much. Uh, d however, the next best things, you've got Jonathan David and Ben Yedder, and that is it. There's literally two strikers, that is it. Because this bad dude's probably going to expire when the uh, player of the month is out, so that's just an SBC. So literally the only two strikers in this league that are any good is Jonathan David in form and Ben Yedder. So I could see both of these going up in price, I really can. Um, it's a little bit risky because uh, both of them have gone up a little bit. I think Ben Yedder's actually gone up about 5 or 6k in the last few days. Uh, but I honestly think that is because there's not many good league earned strikers and people are rocking quite a few league earned teams um, and they're going up in price. So the likes of Ben Yedder, uh, Inform Tusha Many, Jonathan David, I really like his link investments. If you guys can find any other link investments, uh, possibly some Brazilians, you could go Marquinhos possibly. Let's have a look at Marquinhos' price right now. I've not looked at Marquinhos, um, but that'll be a great strong link to Marquinhos. Marquinhos to Paqueta. Uh, so Marquinhos is like... Even he's gone up 93,500. Uh, a very meta centre back. Also, Kim Pembe as well. If I look at Kim Pembe, Kim Pembe is like 47,000, 57,000 on PlayStation. So there's a lot of a hype around these. The only reason, boys, I'm saying this is a risk is because if the SBC is overpriced, so let's say they drop Fafana. I think Fafana is probably going to be the favourite. Let's say Fafana gets dropped and he's 250. 300k, maybe even 200k. I don't, don't know if people are complete him if he's 200k. If he's overpriced, I think the link investment and possibly even fodder could go down in price. So there's a, a little risk if you do overprice it. However, if they price it pretty decently or if they give it really good value, that's when fodder and these link investments will do really, really well. So yeah, boys, they are some of the link investments. So try and pick them up for as cheap as possible. I would try to snipe a lot of them, try and get them on bids as well. Again, around 6 p.m. UK time when promo packs are being opened and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to try and look to get Tusha Many for around 17, 16, 17k if I can. And hopefully he rises to like 25k plus. I hope he follows the trend of Dest. Um, that'd be great. And then lastly, boys, we're going to jump back over to Footbin. So again, if you guys don't know what Footbin is, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm sure a lot of you guys use it anyway. But um, if we hover over the SBC thing, go to cheapest players by rating. This will show all the cheapest players. 81s, 82s, 83s, all the cheapest. They are really, really cheap right now. So again, if they make this SBC a good value, you can see SBC for the flying. You really could. I highly recommend investing in a lot of these 85s, 86s, 84s. Again, I said it was going to be like an 83 rated squad possibly. So you're going to need 83s. So I would look to get some 83 centre backs. Like a Serbi would be good. I've seen him being in quite a few solutions. Uh, so some good positions like centre back, left back, right back and striker. I really like them four especially. And then obviously, good links. So if they're from a good nation, so like Gerard Moreno, I think will do really, really well. Hummels at 6.7k is ridiculous. Pareo's good link, um, good league, good good nation. Uh, Rodri, Laporte, them two together. A lot of people are going to link them two together. So uh, they're good investments. Just club stock a lot of them, boys. Honestly, I would just club stock a lot of them. And then just to be safe, I wouldn't invest in a lot of these. Uh, but you could go with like a league earn. Uh, in form for cheap you could go Lafont, try and get them on bids and stuff as well you could probably get them on a bid for about 10 10 to 50 ish uh costil as well decent they're both from league earn uh, Fofana's an interesting one um he's a bit of a, I, won't, I probably won't go with Fofana purely because if he does get a player of the month i mean he won't rise he won't really rise much so i would go with um as fodder investments go Lafont and costil could pick up a couple of them um, and then, have we got any others really? I mean, Taliska is a really cheap price if we're talking just an overall team of the week. Um, and yeah, I mean, some of these prices are absolutely crazy, crazy cheap. 
absolutely crazy. So it's good to pick up one or two. I've definitely club stocked on a couple um, just preparing for that SBC. We're all waiting, boys. We're all waiting for this good SBC because when it's a good value SBC and a lot of people complete it, that is when fodder will rise and it will fly. It'll only to fly if it's a good value SBC. I did end up voting for Fofana. Uh, I wouldn't mind if Paqueta did win. I just think Fofana looks a little bit better. Before we do end, let's have a look at their cards, actually. Their normal cards. So Fofana's actually got a really nice looking normal card. Uh, so for Fana's normal card, his inform looks incredible as well. So he's got three star skills, four star weak foot. So that alone is really nice. Let's have a look at his inform actually. So three star, four star, he's play them up for love, which is really nice for a centre mid or a CDM. Um, he's got very nice pace, so he's play them up for might have like 83, 84 pace-ish. Really nice shooting stats for like a centre mid. Passing stats are very nice. Dribbling stats are okay, uh, but decent for a centre mid as well. And defending and physicals. Like this is a really nice looking card. High, high work rate, so very good as a box-to-box -box sort of player so I absolutely love the look of that card and I really hope he does win uh, we've got Paqueta who has got four star skills three star weak foot doesn't look as good as Fafana in my opinion um, looks okay though as a centre mid pff, I don't know if this guy would be good enough as a box to box uh, as a cam even um, his finishing's quite average and his dribbling just isn't good enough for a cam in my opinion really not good enough so I think this guy's probably best suited at centre mid and he just looks a bit average. So he'd be alright. But I'd rather have uh, Fofana. And then the other one is. Muri. Who is it? M Guri. That's the one. Not Muri. Guri. Right. What, what's your skill moves at? Come on. Be 4 star 4 star at least. Come on. It's 4 star 3 star. He'll, have, he'll actually have decent finishing. Uh, I think he'll be like an 82 player them up this guy. I mean this guy's put him as an 84. So maybe he will be an 84 actually. Because the first one last year was like 84. Uh, so he might have like 86 pace or something, 85, 86 pace, decent finishing, it'll actually be an alright card, it'll probably have like 84, it's dribbling, um, and just a, a decent well rounded card, uh, what's he got, high medium work rates, any traits, got an average body type with outside foot shot trait and finesse shot traits, so I just don't see this guy winning though, I don't know why, pe I don't think people would vote for him, uh, by the sound of it, like look, if you look at some of these comments, I don't know if you guys can see him, but um, a lot of people are voting for Paqueta or Fofana. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the community come through and Fofana wins. So there we do have it, boys. That is some investments. A lot of the SBC fodder investments are very little risk. Like, they're, they're that cheap. It's just very little risk. If you pick up the informs for nice and cheap, that's little risk. The only slight risk is the link investments, but you can make good profit off it. So if you guys want to take the risk, go for it. I would maybe not go ham. Just in case they do go down. Because uh, I know quite a few people are investing in, in this Tusha many. But yeah, I do like the look of him, boys. So let's see when the league and play of the month. I believe some people are saying Bundesliga play of the month will be out either today or tomorrow. So hopefully the Bundesliga one drops very soon. I think Haaland's going to win that one. So it'll be interesting to see if it's a good price. And yeah, let's see how good this league and play of the month is going to be. So hopefully... This will make you a lot of coins, boys. And yeah, if you guys could drop a like, that'd be appreciated. Drop us a if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.